Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is the third video on Air and Ajax. And in the last video, we actually created a Hello World Ajax, but there wasn't really any Ajax in it. It was an Air application that we learned to self-sign. And just real quick, before we actually move on uh, beyond this point, I want to show you the uh, VeriSign site. We'll go ahead and just go to Google Code. We'll just go ahead and go to Google and type in VeriSign. And just hit the site, and there it is. So, if you're interested in uh, getting a digital certificate that you can sign, uh, come to the site, and this is the place to go and uh, go through all the uh, ins and outs and then start your account. It is somewhat expensive, I'll go ahead and warn you in advance, but it is the way that uh, you will confirm that your uh, account is safe. So, before we put the Ajax into uh, Adobe Air, I want to show you the difference in creating an Air application in Dreamweaver and an Air application in Flash Builder. So I'm going to bring Flash Builder up. And what I'm going to do is actually create a uh, Air application. So I'm going to go to File, New, and just hit Flex Project. And all I have to do is say My Air app, for example, is. And then I'm going to make sure I click on a desktop runs in Air. So that's all I have to do to create an Air application. Let's go ahead and create that hit the finish button and immediately opens up my application right here and you can see it has the S windowed application which is the spark tag and the windowed application of course is the Adobe Air application and real quick here I want to bring your attention to this file right here this is the my air app is uh, dash app dot xml what is that that is the same as the application xml file you saw earlier that's the descriptor file and in the descriptor file goes all the stuff that you need in a sense to glue that application together to build that Adobe Air application and you can see there's a lot of stuff here a lot of it's commented out but you actually comment that in and add other things as well and it basically right now just has uh, a few uh, elements in it that you're using but you'll use more of those as the application builds up so this is everything that glues your uh, application together and every Air application has a descriptor file all right, at that point, I want to go ahead and add the Ajax to the Air application. So all you really need to do this is actually go to the main uh, XML and go to the code. And just like you do in any JavaScript program, you want to add the Air alias.js file to that. Before we do this, we've got to make sure that the Air, Air alias file is actually in our app. Looking at what's in our Dreamweaver site right now, it's not there. So we need to add that. So we're going to go to the uh, Air SDK that we downloaded and pull that from the frameworks folder. So let's do that right now. So once again, going back to my desktop, let's find my JavaScript file. It's in JavaScript. And in JavaScript, I've actually downloaded the Adobe Air SDK. Click on that. And inside the Adobe SDK is the frameworks and the library. And in the library, Air, and in the Air folder is the Air alias.js. Let's go ahead and click on that. We've already looked at that folder. A lot of stuff in there, a lot of wrappers in there, a lot of communication network stuff there that allows us to bring all the important things that we need in Adobe Air in and uh, talk to JavaScript. So let's go ahead and grab that file. Go ahead and paste that. Go ahead. So go ahead and paste that into your main folder. So we'll go back. And once again in the JavaScript folder in the Air.js, where we're keeping everything, in the video demo one, I want to go ahead and paste that file right there. And there it is, ready to be brought into Dreamweaver in my main HTML file, and uh, so I can actually start bringing JavaScript into my Air application. So I'm looking now at the main file right here, and once again, if you take a look at the uh, site, you don't actually see the uh, Air alias file, but what you want to do is go ahead and refresh, and when you do that, there it is right there. So we're ready to start talking to JavaScript. Now, how do you do that? Well, once again, in the head tag, let's open that up. Just like you would in any JavaScript program, we're going to create some script tags. And let's go ahead and close that. All right? And inside those script tags, we're going to do a little stuff. I want to go ahead and put an SRC in there. and click on that and when I do I'll get a browse hint that's great and in that browse hint I just want to uh, navigate to my air alias js so that javascript in there and I also want to give it a language type so hit language click on that and the language type of course is javascript and there we have it we've just incorporated uh, ajax into uh, adobe air 
and we're ready to rock and roll. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about the Spry architecture, and we're going to show you how to bring in XML files just with a click of a button. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and we'll get started with the Spry architecture next time.